Let's just start with crew. Could you just please do us the honor of describing the film? Uh, sure. Um, <laughs> so the film is the film is about a um, a misguided uh, woman, redheaded woman who is can't find her place in the world, and she she's a little bit of a clown. She kind of uh, almost defends herself with humor and to to try and um, fit in, I guess, or be accepted. And but she doesn't feel like she sort of fits in. She doesn't feel like she's, uh, you know, in the right place in her life. And so she decided to start, decides to take herself seriously by becoming a Dolly Parton impersonator. And so by becoming somebody else, she has to figure out who she truly is. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, you make a great Dolly, I have to tell you. And Rose, you make a great Elvis, which was really? also like, I never think like Rose Byrne, Elvis, but like you make it, it's great. She was, it, crew had the idea. How did you have the idea? It remind me again. <laughs> I know. I had the idea because I always wanted to, I mean, being an actress, I always wanted to play a man. Like I wanted to mm. feel sort of play with gender. And, yeah, yeah. See what that feels like. Um, and I was in bed <laughs> in my apartment in New York City, and I just thought that night, Rose should play Elvis. Like, this is perfect. If I if I'm if I'm not, you know, that's like one yeah. of my cravings. I was yeah, like, yeah. Surely she's got the same cravings. Yeah, yeah, the same <laughs> desire to do something yes. wildly different. And I was yeah. like, she's got these great eyebrows. Yeah, and so does Elvis. And you can um, see the physical similarity. Exactly the same. <laughs> Uh, I mean, so not, nice. not wildly that different. No, no. Yeah. You, you Weirdly, both got yeah. like beautiful lips. And um, I thought it was like heavy, mixed... heavy forehead. <laughs> Strong brow. Strong Great brow. hair. Incredible hair. <laughs> but I was no, in a wig. True. It's like. Um... <laughs> um, I that day to... I said it to you. Yeah, yeah I know. You remember, remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the day I, I pitched her to play Elvis yeah. and then you pitched me. Not pitch me, but you told me that you're pregnant with your first child. That's right. And then we, oh, and then we cried. cried. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Um, I'd love to hear from both of you how this film explores how sometimes we can mistake feeling insecure with ourselves with feeling inspired by others, if that makes sense. Yes, it does. Um, gosh. I mean, it's it's essentially a a love a love letter to Dolly Parton, but it is also a love letter to remind ourselves to love ourselves. And you really can't find true love until you can love some and most and parts and the clunky bits of yourself, and then you can find love, you know, with a partner. But um, it it explores yes being. In, we all have uh, in to our degrees we play different parts in our lives and mm -hmm. she just decides to take that all the way to the end and become her her greatest inspiration um so I, I, I know I'm like talking around the point but um yes you can be inspired by people and certainly be lifted up and take on attributes and learn and discover who you are via other people Definitely, because that's that's her journey. But ultimately, you have to come back and and love yourself. I mean, mm. it's so this such a simple message, but mm. you know, so I think why why it's interesting. I find it interesting just because of social media and filters and <clears throat> yeah, how we yeah. can change the way we look, which is like in one part awesome and creative and fun, but also confusing and misleading mm. and um, yeah. I, I love in this film that she's, I, I feel like you get to see Red as a real person mm. and, and not a self-conscious, hopefully not a self-conscious character, uh, a, a self-conscious actress mm -hmm. a character. Yeah. Um, you know, she's sort of wonderfully human, fat, ugly, skinny, beautiful, tired, awake, mm. <laughs> you know, yeah. in these different um, parts. I hope that answers your question. I know oh, it does. That was beautiful, and that's such a testament. No, it's lovely, and I think that's a te that's a testament to your performance, crew. It's like you are so you give us that um, strength and vulnerability. I think with Red, and um, it's incredibly human. And I think to your point about social media, it's so hard. I think especially 
you know, not to make it about gender, but as women, it's like, we're objectified before we even know what that means. And it's so hard to understand like what's coming first, like feel discovering ourselves while we're also having this pressure to be and look like Mm -hmm. others. It's, and I think this film kind of explores that also a little bit, which is Mm -hmm. incredibly human and relatable. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. You're both such um, talented and dedicated artists. Have y'all ever had a difficult time separating yourselves from a role because it gave you that inspiration that you were maybe looking for at that time of your lives? Hmm. I think at, when I was a younger person, <laughs> <laughs> I, I very much relate to Red's journey in my early years as an actress in the business and the sort of desperation you feel to be accepted and to be wanted and to be taken seriously and all those things that I think are very true for a young artist in my case anyway and about how that evolves as you get older as everything does whether it's with your other parts of your life with your family whether it's with your own spiritual journey or whatever you know I feel like those those things change and evolve and you become more uh you have more perspective and more of a point of view and um, but I very much relate to that uh, journey as a probably in my 20s feeling like red, like red felt. I think everybody who's a I feel like everyone who is who's an artist has been there at some point or another in their in their journey. And that's what I love about it. You know, I love the moment where, where Red looks in the mirror when she's in Hong Kong and is like, this is going to be your last job. You, you never, you're never, probably never going to work again. And I've had thousands of those conversations with myself in the mirror and her kind of desperation to be acknowledged by her mother it's like just come on mom no 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 this is a serious job that I have I'm an artist I'm a tribute you know this this and her mother being so ambivalent and dismissive toward her and the kind of the you know it's like there's two there's dual performances going on in in the film of 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 Dolly and Red Red Delaney and Dolly Parton and, and how those kind of as the film goes on you really you know it starts to really explore those in a it starts out as such a kind of a hard comedy and it's very funny and, and broad at times. And then it sort of really settles in and then becomes kind of more of an examination of like, you know, the lengths we go to. Absolutely. And she goes too far. <laughs> Obviously she goes too far. You want to be said it to, it's too far. It's too far. You're okay. You don't have to go that far. Like you can have the best of both worlds or can you, you know? Or can you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just like, it's, it's so uh, beautifully layered this film. Um, I'd love to talk about nudity for a second, because I think that um, it feels like in this film, you're really reclaiming this idea of um, nudity on screen, because in the past we've, you know, obviously seen the female form shot through a male gaze and a male perspective. And um, crew, I want to talk about that decision a little bit and how, you know, the answer is not necessarily to stop showing nudity, but really to reclaim it in a way as women um, and redefining it and what it means on screen. Yeah, I think um, uh, for for Red's journey to dis- well, spoiler, spoiler, at the end of the film when she disrobes, dis- disrobes, um, it really was important to me that it was the the taking off all the layers as much as you possibly can to your raw beauty, if you like. Um, and there is, you know, a sprinkling of nudity, uh, a little bit of nudity throughout the movie. Throughout the movie. Yeah. Um, just because it was truthful and it was truthful to the story mm-hmm. is really why it was there. Um, and, you, you know, you kind of had to show what she had and what she wanted to kind of get the payoff Mm. so it was really story driven Mm. um but in terms of bodies and 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 women I have been having this conversation recently about um there's I guess there's a lot more nudity at the moment perhaps on on tv and also social media yeah um Mm. but there seems to be no, but we're all protected. We're all, there's guidelines. There's people in place to make sure that that's okay. And I'm wondering mm. if that's actually allowing more, maybe maybe more nudity than we necessarily need to see. I don't know. I'm examining that. Just yeah, to me too. No, yeah. But um, yeah, it was very story-driven um, and character-driven for, for the reasons of that. And I mean, I'm like, I love my body. My body's really been amazing to me. It's been very kind and 
powerful. Uh, powerful and yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Mm. It's I love that. I mean, I, th- I thought it was very empowering the way that, like you said, it was completely story driven. And I think when we see that, we see um, why it's important. Like I said, because I've examined the same thing. I think it's like we keep examining it as as things change. And mm-hmm. I just thought, like you said, it was it was uh, very story driven, which I think is um, why it's important. And it was just it, it made me kind of start to think and go down that path mm-hmm. as well. Um and I, I mean, that, that scene is heartbreaking, that memory of when Elvis says to Red, oh gosh, I'm, I'm going to fudge the line, but about, you know, you having small tits and how can you be Dolly? And um, uh, that was such a powerful line to me. As someone who's, you know, who has small tits, I was like... <laughs> But I think it was like, in a way, like, yes, Dolly had huge breasts, but I think it's also the layer of, you know, someone telling someone you can't or you like, how can you? Um, And it's, it's just really powerful. Yeah. Um, Yeah. yeah. I loved it. And also I want to talk really quickly because I know we're running out of time because I could talk about this film for hours. Um, (laughs) Rose, I thought it was so powerful. Like, I want to talk about the choice. I don't know who made the choice, if it was in the script or if it was your choice as the actor to break character as Elvis in that one point of the film. I know it's a bit of a spoiler, but that was an incredibly powerful choice. Can you just talk me through that, the, with the time that Elvis, mm. uh, you know? Yeah, break- they have this sort of confrontation at the end, Elvis and Dolly. And uh, no, I think it, it was always pretty implicit that 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 they would 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 come out of their performance or their character, whatever whatever you want to call it, and and feel that sort of raw pain underneath and that um, you know bitterness and all the things that it's very brief. It's such a brief moment, but it's really important in the story. It's very much again story driven, and for Red to be jarred by that moment when she's really sort of losing it. You know, she's on this uh, this this track that she's, you know, she can't really get off until she does. She kind of crashes and burns. But at that point, um, she's very much, you know, on this uh, journey of uh, of self of denial at that point. So I loved that scene. It was very, yeah, it, it took a minute definitely to find the right tone of it. I remember finding it in, in the edit. We went back and forth with lots of different versions of it. And, you know, we, we kind of came to that one. And I think it, I, I think it really does does the job in terms of her journey and mm. where she's at yeah but it, it, it is jarring because he's only ever seen in the shadows they're very much a mysterious character it's very the lighting is always a little weird with Elvis like it's not he's very much a mysterious and almost just this like it, it, almost in her imagination so much of that memory that oh that cringeworthy memory you have of someone with a bad dream or a bad moment and and then for them to have that confrontation like in life when you have a confrontation with someone that you've built up in your head or have put so much mm-hmm. onus on of what, how they've treated you and for them to reveal like that is very them jarring. To be, um, have show a, 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 hum, a human moment. Mm, yeah. 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 That they I are, love, they're yeah. a person too. Yeah. Yeah. It was very much like, I think to go back to Rose, what you were saying earlier, I feel like this about an, being an artist, I think that this film is very much of a love letter of to artists. And I think in that moment too, you see the artist's pain in Elvis. Mm. Um, and, but anyways, that, that's my time. Thank you so much, ladies. Thanks, for Meg. Thanks. Beautiful film and congratulations and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you.